We have two generations of NSG-438s in front of me. For the most part, they are the same unit. Usually the red emergency stop button is engaged when you receive the unit. Disengage it and press the interlock. The previous generation unit is the dark blue pistol with a black and white screen that functions well with a few less features than the new color screen, and uh, which we will cover later. Another commonality is draw time. However, something feels off. Let me go ahead and recalibrate. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Yes. Aha! Pew, pew! The baby sister red NSG 437 is a stripped down version of the NSG 438, which doesn't have a case, uh, doesn't have an internal battery, no self grounding mount, and some programmability functions, and a handful of other uh, hardware items. If you just received your new ESD toy, you are ready to do what any responsible adult would do. Crank it up to max power and max speed and pull the trigger. But, no. In contact mode, we are limited to 20 hertz. Bummer, I know, but it, this is still two times faster than baby sister's... Uh, fuck. Baby sister NSG 435. Notice the KV symbol illuminates while the test tip is still hot. If you try to program use with an air tip while a contact tip is installed, you will get denied, making this an utterly useless feature and waste of home screen space that would be better suited for a Star Wars icon. Or perhaps, of your ground connection and ESD setup. Reminds this young Jedi when the Force escaped him and he neglected to ground the discharge pistol. <laughs> while the preset counter is off or in up mode, you can operate in positive or negative polarity. To switch polarities halfway through the test, you must enter the preset counter, select down, and define the amount of discharges to occur. We return selecting alternating polarity, meaning the next test operation will discharge 25 times in positive polarity, automatically switch and discharge the final 25 times in negative polarity. A unique feature for the NSG438 is random P mode, triggering the preset amount of pulses in a statistically distributed repetition cycle from 30 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds. Random C is similar, but with a preset time frame instead of a preset pulse count. Free adjust allows the flexible frequency and repetition rates needed by some R&D jobs or product standards. The EUT discharge mode requires the INA4430 charge remover that comes standard in the NSG438A. Using T1, T2, and T3, set your timing parameters to discharge, close the relay, and reopen, expelling charged energy through the bleed resistor. This feature is for advanced users in case you stray and find yourself overwhelmed, default back to frequency mode, and it will turn off the EUT discharge mode. In conclusion, don't forget to ground your ESD gun, otherwise you will lose that enthusiasm in your voice. Click on the thumbnails to review data sheets for other popular ESD simulators.